In this video I want to present you another spectacular performing nostalgia for infinity based trading algorithm that I found on GitHub. It is called Combined NFI version 6 SMA and I can already tell you that with my testing methodology this algo ends up very high on my strategy list. So let's start up the intro and in the meantime you can click the like button and subscribe to this channel. You can find this strategy if you look for the name on GitHub. And as you can see, there are already two persons that have this file saved in their repository. Let's open this code and see what's inside. Now since this is an evolution or fork from the original NFIX strategy, I assume that uh, this is a specific uh, trading algorithm where many people have worked on and also have tested this on the probability to make money in the market. But this shouldn't stop you from doing your own research too. So let me glance over this file and give you a high level overview of what it does. This algo operates on a 5 minute time frame with an informative time frame on the 1 hour. The ROI settings will close out the trade as soon as there is a 1000% profit on return on investment. And this is also the case with the large stop loss setting. It means that the strategy allows a trade to go to 99% loss before closing it. Here the trailing stop loss is also set to true. And this nags me a little bit because it gives a positive bias to the backtest results. Therefore I also have made a file with the stop loss disabled and tested that version also. Now the trading strategy also uses several technical indicators that are pivotal for the decision making process. And here are some of the indicators, uh, here the SMA, EMA, the Elliott Wave Oscillator, RSI, MFI, uh, JK Money Flow and uh, the Bollinger Bands. The populate buy method in the strategy determines when to buy by evaluating a series of conditions derived from various technical indicators. And if all these conditions align, then the method flags these instances into the data frame. And that instructs the trading bot to execute buy orders at those specific moments. Now there are many different methods uh, or buy conditions set for many different market situations and that makes this algorithm so diverse and also so complex. Now, similarly, the populate sell trend method identifies also when to sell by checking if conditions such as uh, reaching profit targets or hitting stop loss limits are met. And when any of these sell conditions hold true, then the strategy updates the data frame to signal selling points, which guides the bot to exit positions accordingly. Also, there are many different sell situations to find, and this is the reason why the default stop loss has been disabled, I think. So overall, the strategy employs a very comprehensive and dynamic approach to trading and it uses a variety of technical indicators and complex logic to make trading decisions. Now again, you have to be aware that these results are on my specific setup with my pairs to test. Now the original trading strategy has a spectacular gain of 65,300 USDT and that's a gain of almost 6400% on the initial investment of $1000. And what's even more admirable here is that this trading strategy also has a 85% win rate and only a drawdown of 6% or so. Also, most of the pairs favor this algorithm, so it could well be that your preferred trading pairs also respond well to this strategy. Now the equity curve here also shows that this responds well to almost any market circumstances. It's true that sometimes the algo has a difficulty under very harsh circumstances as you can see around September 2022, but it recovers fine and continues to rise after that. This can also be seen in the drawdown plot. The highest drawdown occurred at that same time, but on average the drawdown sits around 1.5%, which I can certainly live with. Now, as you can imagine, most of the weeks of this algo has green numbers, but sometimes this algo has trouble keeping the gains and will lose a significant amount of money, as you can see on this plot. According to my theoretical backtests, of course. Now, what about the trades and profits itself? These two box plots show you an overall view of what you can expect per trade. The left plot depicts the win rate distribution of the combined NFI strategy, showcasing a predominantly high performance with a medium close to 0.9 or 90%. Despite the general success, the presence of several outliers indicates also episodes of unexpected lower win rates. 
dropping to around 0.2 or 20%. Now on the right, the profit distribution plot reveals a strategy that oscillates around break-even, with a narrow interquartile range suggesting that most outcomes are modest in financial terms. However, the presence of these significant outliers, ranging from losses of minus $2,000 or to profits reaching to almost $6,000, highlights the potential for both substantial gains and also considerable risks. I also tested the strategy without the TSL enabled. And you can see here that its performance are therefore also lower, but it gives a more realistic view on the capabilities of the algorithm in my personal opinion. But on them by itself, they are still very good results. Now the equity curve here is also comparable with the TSL enabled version, it looks a little bit more jagged, but overall you can expect the same performance. Which is also the case with these box plots in this no TSL version. The numbers are a little bit lower and the variability is a little bit higher, but they are overall comparable. So it's up to you to decide which of these give a more realistic view on the performance. Now before I continue with the position in the strategy league, I want to say that I noticed that a lot of people that watch my videos still haven't subscribed yet. So if you do not want to miss out on any future video, then please subscribe to this channel. And if you like these videos, then also please give a thumbs up, because that motivates me to make more of these and share this information with you. And I also would like to know if these results are similar to the ones you get on your setup. So please add these to the comments to let other people know if you verified these results. Now getting back to the original strategy's results. The overall performance here on these indicators show very good performances on most of these, with some minor exceptions like a profit percentage and maybe also the Sortino. But with this overall performance you can already guess, and also have seen it on this plot here, that this overall performance has entered the top of my strategy league, a well deserved position. So there you have it a completely new number one trading algorithm discovered. Now to be honest, I never expected to have a new number one in a while. But uh, you can see that in this business it's proven again to never assume things. But again, and I will keep repeating this, please do your own research before uh, doing any real trading with any trading algorithm. So this is the end of this video. If you want to show your appreciation of my work and also want to sponsor me, then please become a patron, and you will also get the added benefit to get access to all the backtest output, complete setup and more benefits over there too. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.